Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Autobot Pipes from Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. I got mine from Amazon.com and as you can see the box arrived a little worse for wear. But the figure looks to be okay and luckily I don't usually keep these. But looking at the packaging here we have some really nice artwork here on the front. We have the robot mode, we have the vehicle mode. Over here on the side we have that kind of standard Kingdom mural that we always have. Not too much going on there on the top or the bottom, but you do have the Beast Wars eye kind of kind of poking out there spying on you, which is kind of funny. Uh, looking at the back here, we have the robot mode, we have the vehicle mode, with this kind of cave painting style motif they have for the back of the packaging for these. So I'm pretty excited for this one. I'm going to go ahead and get them out of the box here and we'll take a closer look. So here is Pipes out of the packaging. He looks pretty great. Yes, we've seen this mold three times already, but I still really like it. Plus, I don't know why, but Pipes has always been kind of a favorite of mine. I think he was one I got kind of early on as a kid. He was a fun little truck with a quick little fun transformation, and I don't know why, he's just kind of always been one of my favorites. Plus, he's blue, so I'm probably a little biased because blue is my favorite color. But you have this really nice, like, navy blue with this really stark white. The colors just go really well together. He comes with these, like, smokestack uh, hand cannons here done in silver, which look pretty good. Head sculpt, really, really nice. It's basic. You just have a faceplate, but I really like the blue eyes there. Now, if you're familiar with the original toy, you might be asking why he doesn't have the red visor, because the original toy did have just a solid red visor. This is more based on his animation model. He didn't show up in the show very often. He may have only shown up in the more than meets the eye. No, Five Faces of Darkness. That's what it was. The Five Faces of Darkness five-parter that kicked off season three. He was shown with the group of minibots defending the Ark when Trypticon attacked, and it might have been one of the few times he really shows up. I don't know if he actually even shows up after that, uh, but this is his animation model. He had the normal blue eyes there, and you have this really nice Autobot symbol, and you have this little bit of kind of a light gray up here, which I think looks really good. Now, if you want, you have a couple options to display this back piece here. You can kind of do it up like this, which is a little bit more indicative of how the original G1 toy was, or you can kind of put it down like this, so it kind of collapses as much as it can against the, the back, which doesn't hinder the, you know, torso articulation here, the bend at the waist. Um, and this just kind of sits a little bit more flush. So it's really up to you. I mean, if you really want, you can go with the classic kind of huffer look, where you pop this down, spin this around, and then kind of sit this back here like that. I mean, this guy was never really shown like that, but if you like that look, it's an option. So... You have a lot of nice options there when displaying this, but I think it just looks great like this. I really like this a lot. Uh, articulation, really the same as the other times we've seen this mold. I just showed you how the top part of the cab here can swivel around. You have the ball joint here for the head. Not too much front to back, mostly side to side. Can't really tilt side to side all that much. Swivel and hinge here for the shoulder. You have a, a bicep swivel 90 degrees in the elbow. Uh, you can't really turn the fists because they fold in because of the transformation, which we'll see in a minute. You have a waist swivel, you have a hinge, and a swivel here for the hip, so you can kick out to the side pretty far, not all the way, but you can certainly kick forward and back as much as you like. You have a thigh swivel, obviously you have about 180 degrees in the knee because of the transformation. You have a ankle tilt here, and then you have a little bit of play with this, so if you wanted to for some reason have him kind of you know, have his heel technically go that far back or something like that, you could. It's really just for the transformation, but if you can get creative with it, you can go ahead and utilize it. But the ankle tilt, I think, is probably the most important thing there. And you can see how he's got uh, the, like, seat area molded here into the chest, just like the original toy. And if we bring in Huffer, just to do a quick little comparison, you can see how his chest is molded very differently, because this was kind of the under part of the truck, whereas this is... They used the two backs of the seats to peg this part in on the original toy when it flipped around. So they're being faithful and molding that into the chest. I think both of these guys just look fantastic. Honestly, these guys are finally getting their own true molds. They're not just Optimus Prime repaints. So I'm happy. I'm very happy. And because we have to, I feel like we kind of have to, let's bring in all four of them. We got the whole squadron here. I love it. 
We really need like a solid, I think Brawn is probably the next one to do. They're kind of redoing all the mini bots as deluxes now after they had kind of done them all as uh, Legends class. And the Legends class ones are still great, but I'm kind of really digging all the mini bots as deluxes. And I think these four are fantastic. Like I said, I think Brawn is definitely the next one you could do Outback as well. So there's definitely a few to do, and I, uh, I'm i liking them a lot. I'm glad, I hope they keep this going. I'm sure we're going to see something like that in Legacy later on down the line, but we'll have to wait and see how it goes. I also wanted to do just kind of a quick comparison with Puffer and Pipes, because they are pretty much exactly the same toy, with the exception of he has a visor and he has eyes. I think their face plates are pretty much the same. And maybe his might be a little bit more rounded over here on Puffer. And really the placement of the Autobot symbol. Otherwise, it's the exact same toy. <laughs> There's really not. Obviously, the color scheme, of course. But yeah, pretty much the exact same thing. But I'm here for it. I love them. I love all these little guys. Super happy. Super happy? Super happy to finally have, is what I was trying to say. Happy and happy. I've made a new word. In any case, very happy to have these guys. Really, really liking these quite a bit. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the transformation for pipes. I'm going to go through the transformation pretty quick because, like I said, we've already seen this a few times with the other three representations of this mold. Plus, I did them again during my top 10 video. So we're going to go ahead and take these off and put that off to the side. We're going to flip these around and peg them into the shins and then just kind of peg that in like so. We're going to come around over here and kind of bring this down to get it out of the way. Swivel that around and kind of hang that back. Unpeg the shoulders here. Bring these down like so. Pop this out and you kind of have to bring these down as you do that so that you have enough clearance so that you can get these wheels out. There we go. We're gonna spin Pipe's head around 180. We're going to close this back up and kind of bring these forward as we do so. Click that into place, bring this down. That will click into place there like that. You will spin the uh, at the bicep swivel 90 degrees, and that way you can fold the fist down. And then there is a little tab on the waist right there, which is going to tab into the smokestack arm to put that in place. And then this is going to kind of peg in. Uh, there's a tab right here and a spot here on the forearm, so that will tab in like so. Then we're going to repeat that over here. Bring this around, fold this down, peg this in, peg that in, then you're pretty much already done. Spin this around, and you are set. Probably don't have this 100% pegged in correctly. There we go. Okay, now we're set. And you're left with a pretty fun little truck. He does have a large gap of air there, which I don't love. Not really much I can do about it. Um... But yeah, I, I wish that was a little bit lower, but it, this mold has had that every time. So with the little smokestacks, if you want, you can put them on here. If you want to make it look like he's got larger smokestacks on the side. The directions actually also show that you could store these here on the back. So you have a couple options there. Since he doesn't come with the like flatbed and, and side gun pieces, you can put these here instead if you like. But yeah, he's a fun little truck. Really love the color scheme. Plus it's pipes and I just love them, so he's great. I think pipes is fantastic. I think he looks great. Wonderful color scheme, great articulation. I just, I'm having a lot of fun with this mold. Honestly, I'm just really happy that Huffer slash pipes finally got their own true mold. They're not just Optimus Prime repaints anymore. And I'm just having a lot of fun with it. I mean, yes, it's not a perfect mold. The robot mode, I think, looks perfectly great. I really like how they added that hinge piece in here to the canopy of the cab so that you can kind of swivel it around for huffer slash pipes because I was really wondering how they're going to do that. And it's such a simple little change and it works perfectly. Um, the only real problem I have with the mold is in the truck mode where you have that giant gap in the wheel well. I wish that that lined up a little bit better just the streamline of the truck flowed a little bit better, but it's not terrible. I still really am having a good time with these. I love that we have four of these and they all kind of have maybe not the most different color schemes because orange is kind of represented twice and so is blue, but they're different enough. I just really feel like I need a fifth. I need to get my Sentai on here. You know, I want to complete Minibot Sentai Truck Ranger. I need that happening in my life. So I don't know if there's a fifth uh, character to use this mold or if there's just something we could do that would make sense. 
but I feel like we need a fifth. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But in any case, I think this guy's a ton of fun. I definitely recommend picking him up. I got this one from Amazon, but I believe it's still in stock at Hasbro Pulse right now as of the recording of this video. So if you need this guy, head over to Hasbro Pulse and pick him up. Uh, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with him. I'm really happy that Pipes finally got his due. Very excited to have this figure and add it to the collection. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.